I don't know if you can see all the little rings being made in the water. The bluegill I stocked in the pond did pretty much what I expected them to do and all migrated back here into the flooded woods where they've got lots of cover and oh ranges from two to three feet deep out through here but lots of things for the little bluegill to eat and it protects them from the hundred bass I let go in the pond the bass tend to stay more out in the open area in the ridges and brush and things I put out in the deep areas but I'd say every bluegill that I let go is moved back in here some of these rings are tadpoles coming up and hitting the surface for a gulp of air but most of them are little bluegill clean an underbrush out of this area and gonna make this a nice little picnic sitting area not too far from the new house And right off the trail leading from the house to the pond. Made a little sloped launch area for a john boat Got several more bullfrogs move in <coughs> hey what I don't have allergies this year I got allergies the pollen has been just insane this year. As the pond establishes, it'll go through several phases. Right now we've got the old vegetation that was seeded. It's flooding out and dying off it's all part of the balancing out really takes about 10 years from start to everything established and balanced and working right and a little point I made no idea why I made it just call it a flight of fancy
Well, the new bullfrogs are really chatting it up over in the lake. Made a separate video of these. I'll include them in this one. Something most people never see, or if they do, they don't see this part of it. These are aquatic worms. Common red worms, to be exact. We've got hundreds of colonies of them. They were always here. They lived in the waterway that always had pools of water in it. But they live underwater and in the shallow edges. Whether they're terrestrial or aquatic, they're Worms play a big role in the environmental health of everything. These guys, they stick their butts up like that and they wiggle them back and forth. Their head is down in the hole. They're about two, three inches long and anyway, they waggle their tails and they're pooping. They're eating organic matter down under the under the mud and pooping it out on the top. If they move around and they spread and they're actually a really good sign of a healthy environment. They won't live in a low oxygen area. They actually create oxygen. They absorb a lot of toxins and convert it to non-toxic things, particularly nitrogen, ammonia that would form from the decaying vegetation. Anyway, they're an important part of the workforce. Yeah, there's hundreds of colonies all around the pond. I haven't really checked the lake for them. I spend more time at the pond. I like the pond. Peaceful. Nobody can bother you here. I see the breeze from the southwest out here on the point. Back there is the north tail water that goes back into the woods there. That's that's more crawdad and frog land. Water's a little more shallow than it is on the south arm. I think it ranges from about a foot to three feet deep up to that. Uh, stuff I got over there off the bank. And right here out to, oh, out probably a hundred feet is, I don't know, it ranges three, five feet deep through here. And over here it drops from a few inches deep to 
six seven feet through there over to Mount Crap and then there's a bunch of underwater structures you'd be walking along it chest deep and next thing you know you step in a 10 foot hole and then all along the dam is oh I think I went probably 16 feet deep from the ledge over there at the base of Mount Crap all the way over to the end of the dam and then it tapers up with all those drop-off ridges lots of underwater structure didn't build it to be pristine these are everything I did was for fish and wildlife habitat not a ooh, look at my pretty sterile fish can barely live in it pond Anyway, that's where we're at on the lake. I need to put some rocks on the edges here around this. Getting too much of wave erosion. I might just, I don't know, put mulch on the top of the walkway out there. The hard work's done, now it's just the playing around and finishing it up. And this, this whole big mound of dirt that I dug out and piled up here is going to be the recreational area. I think I'm going to actually build a concrete patio out here probably I don't know something like 20 by 40 just have a bug place bug free place plant some I don't know probably more weeping willows or tulip trees out there to make some evening shade, afternoon shade here. And basically build it like a pavilion. Some posts and a simple metal roof on top to keep the sun and weather off of you if you want to sit out here. Still a lot of work to do, but the hardest work's done. I pat myself on the back till my arm breaks. I did a good job on this. A lot of people look at it and say, what were you thinking? This, the shape's all over the map and the depths are all over the place and it don't look like a normal farm pond well it's not a normal farm pond I find that very little that I do is normal I don't like normal normal's boring and it's usually not the best practice but everybody wants normal I don't know do my thing my way and it works very well even though it's abnormal